what's going on guys and girls i welcome you to your fourth html5 in line svg tutorial which is a part of uh, ifactner.com html5 and css3 video tutorial series and now we would continue our discussion uh, about drawing a rectangle in within our svg working area so i go to my file and uh, in my svg uh, tag i write rect rect which is the reserve word to uh, draw a rectangle within the svg element and uh, i give an id to my uh, rectangle which would be my rect and uh, i give the width property of my rectangle and i say that my rectangle would be 300 pixels wide and it would be 100 pixels in height and uh, you can uh, uh, end your example with slash and uh, greater than sign I save my page, go to run menu and then select launch in Chrome command. And now you see that we have got a rectangle in within our SVG tag. And this rectangle is black in color and it starts from zero point on the X axis and zero point on the Y axis. Let's suppose that uh, we would like to change the color of our rectangle and we would like it to start from 10 pixels on the x-axis and 10 pixels on the y-axis. Then how can we do that? For that, I just uh, say that my x position is 10 and I want my rectangle to start on the y-axis on 10 points as well and then I say that I use the fill property to tell my browser that I want my rectangle to be blue in color and then I click on the save button go to my browser click on reload this page and now you see that our rectangle is starting from 10 points on the x-axis and 10 points on the y-axis and it is blue in color. So now let's make a square in front of our blue rectangle. How can we do that? It is really simple. You just copy this line of code and paste it I would use the zoom out button to zoom out uh, my text so it would be easier to see all the text and now I see say that the ID of my rectangle number 2 is my rect2 the width would be 100 pixels the height would be 100 pixels and I want my rectangle to start from here so now on the y axis on the x axis I, st I have already started my first rectangle at 10 pixels and the total width of my rectangle is 300 so it is taking the 310 pixels space so it is ending at 310 pixel I would like my second rectangle to start from here so I would add 310 plus 10 pixels so I would give the X position to be 320 and I would uh, like to start my square from here therefore the Y position is 10 pixels so I do not change the Y position I change the fill color of my second uh, 
rectangle to be green and now I would use the inline style styles to apply the stroke or the uh, line to my or the border to my rectangle and I would change the width and color of that stroke or the border so how can I do that I simply write style equals to stroke which would be red in color I end the statement with the column semicolon and then I say that the stroke width should be 5 pixels I click on and then I close my style tag with a double quote I click on the save button go to my browser click on refresh button and now a perfect uh, square has appeared on our SVG area where, with a background of green and a border color of red and uh, the border width is 5 pixels if I zoom in my graphic you can see that it is not losing the quality why because it is in scalable vector graphics format so this is how we create uh, a rectangle in our SVG uh, using the inline SVG code in the next tutorial I would tell you how can we make different types of circles in our SVG element so please join me in the next ifectner.com video tutorial if you would like to download the code for this tutorial then please visit ifectner.com take care bye bye